Okay, this is a video to show how to use the gyroscope to turn at specific angles. And we're going to use it to turn 90 degree turns. And so this is the, the gyroscope. And let's zoom in on its value here. So uh, this is it. And you can see as we rotate the robot to the right, number increases until it gets to around 90. You put it back to where it was, it decreases down towards zero. If you turn it the other way, it gets negative below zero, so down towards uh, negative 90. If we turn it all the way around, it's be about 180, or negative 180. So what we're going to do is put it back to around zero. And uh, let's go look at the software. What we're doing is um, we're going to use a loop. And we are going to continue through the loop until the gyroscope gets close to where we want the turn to be. So if we're going to turn 90 degrees, we'll come in here and we'll set the gyro, the angle, and then we'll say, uh, is it more than, is it greater than 90? So once it is, then we want it to stop. We want the loop to stop. So what are we doing inside the loop? Well, if we want the robot to turn, then we have to apply power to the wheels, uh, either one wheel or two wheels. And uh, we'll use 20 on the left motor because we want it to turn to the right. So a positive 90. And then we'll copy and paste that. And we'll put it here and change it to the right motor, which is C. And we'll set that one to negative 20. So we start the program, the, the program puts 20 power to the left motor and negative 20 to the right, so the robot's going to start rotating. And then it's going to check, is, is the gyroscope more than 90 degrees? If it's not, then just come back around and do it again. Keep putting more power to the, or 20 power to the left and negative 20 to the right. Are we more than 90 degrees? No. Then go do it again. And you just keep doing it again so the robot keeps turning until the gyro sensor says that we're over 90 degrees. And then we'll come out here, program will end so the robot will stop. But when you're using the gyro sensor, uh, the first thing you have to do is reset it. Uh, you have to reset it back to zero. And you can do that with the gyro block and reset. So, um, Let's run our program, and we'll see what that, what that looks like on the robot and on the gyroscopes, the value down here. So it says 1 right now, but the first thing this program is going to do is reset it, so it'll put it back to 0, and then it will power the motors. So if we hit the play button, okay, and we can see down here that we got 97. So the reason that didn't stop at exactly 90 is because the robot has momentum. So that stopped at 97, so if we take away 7 from 90, that would put us at 83. So next time, maybe whenever we stop the motors, whenever we get above 83 degrees, then it will coast to 90 degrees. So we'll do that now and see how we get it. So right now it says 97, but if you watch this, as soon as this block runs or executes, it'll reset that back to zero, and then it will come into the loop. So we hit the play button. Okay, and we got 89 degrees, which is pretty close to a perfect uh, right turn, a right angle, 90 degree turn. So we'll try it again. One of the most important things about engineering is that you have to be able to recreate your experiment um, multiple times and always get the same result and that's where you, that's when you know that it's reliable so we'll hit the play button again and this time we got 92 degrees so we went uh, a little bit over what we were shooting for so one way that we can make this program more reliable is if we weren't moving so fast because if we were moving slower then there wouldn't be as much momentum and the robot wouldn't coast 
uh, for the rest of the turn. So let's do this. Let's copy and paste this entire loop, and we'll set it. Oops, and we'll set it. We'll hook it next to it, and so this time uh, we'll set this lower to like I don't know, maybe 77. So when it gets over 77 degrees, then it's going to come here, and let's have lower power. Let's use like 10 and negative 10. And then we can set this closer to 90. We'll try 88. So now when we run this, it's going to reset the gyro to zero, the gyroscope. And it's going to put positive power to the left motor, negative power to the right motor. And that will rotate the robot, and it will keep doing that until it is rotated more than 77 degrees. Then it will come to the next block here, which is this loop, and it will put half that power. So 10 to the left, negative 10 to the right. So then it should start slowing down when it turns the rest of the way. And then when it gets more than 88 degrees, it'll stop. And we'll see where we end uh, on this program. So let's run that. OK, and that ended at exactly 90, uh, which is what we were shooting for. But that's only one run. So we can't call that a success yet. We have to run it many times and get exactly 90. Then we know our, pro our program is correct and our um, hardware is correct, the software and the hardware. So run it again. OK, and it's not. This time we got 91. Run it again. We got 90. Run it again. Got 91, and one more time, and 90. So we're getting very accurate results. Um, and what you can do is continue to dial this in. So we could change this to uh, maybe 5 and negative 5, and uh, continue to adjust the parameters until every time that the program runs, the robot stops at exactly 90 degrees, or whatever angle that we're shooting for. So that's all there is to it with the the um, turning using the gyroscope program is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to mention though is this works resetting the gyroscope when you're hitting this play button, but when you are at the competition and you're pressing a button on the robot itself. When you press the button to start the program, you're actually jiggling the robot a tiny bit. You're moving a little bit. And that's no good because when the gyroscope resets, it has to be perfectly still. No movement at all. So when I do this program, I usually put half a second before and then hit Control c Control v and I put half a second after. And that just makes sure that the robot is not moving at all whenever this block runs, whenever it resets the gyroscope to zero. Because if there's any movement, then this doesn't set it to zero, and then all the rest of your calculations are off. So let's go ahead and run it one last time, and that'll be the end. OK, and it got us to 91. So we have a pretty accurate program in just a couple of minutes. And uh, you guys can continue to work on that, dial it in, um, and we can talk and go over more at our next meeting. Thanks.